This is the driveway restoration project. Here's what the driveway looked like when we started. First step was to take out all the old pothole and cracked asphalt. Once we got rid of that, it was time to do some ditch digging. We dug two long trenches. I have dug two two and a half foot wide trenches, 72 feet long from the top to the bottom of the driveway and filled it with reprocessed gravel. Next step is compacting the gravel. Compacting gravel is fun and easy when you have the right tool for it. I rented a gasoline powered compactor and it does a great job. I have it running behind me. All I have to do is hit the throttle and it'll, it'll take itself right up the driveway. This is some fine, compacted, reprocessed gravel. See if I can get a little bit of a close-up here for you so you can see how this material just presses right into the ground. Nine inches deep of base here. This would make a nice driveway just on its own if it only never rained or snowed. Okay, we have a wheelbarrow right here, or wheelbarrow if you prefer. We've got a couple of yards of stone dust and a shovel. And we're gonna put the stone dust onto the onto the driveway. So once we dump the stone dust onto the driveway, uh, we want to spread it around with a rake. Nice and even. This job's gotten a lot faster since Adam has joined us. Thanks, Adam. He's dumping the dust for us. We're going to be raking the stone dust. Make a nice, neat pile for a nice, neat, smooth surface. Doesn't have to be perfect. Close to perfect is nice. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of loud, but here's Adam using the compactor. You can, I'll follow behind him so you can see how it compacts the stone dust we just put down. I have these concrete terracotta pavers which I made myself. You can see my YouTube channel and uh, see a video about how I make them. The sun is out, so I put on my sun hat, a little bit of sun protection here, and now I get to lay the pavers. Laying the pavers is one of the most satisfying parts of a job like this. After all of that ditch digging and raking and shoveling, we're finally getting an idea of what the final driveway will look like. So we're installing some landscape edging along the sides of the pavers to hold them into place.
pavers are all down, the landscape edging is down, holding the pavers in place. Now, to make sure they stay in place, we're gonna sweep stone dust in between the pavers. One of the final aspects of this project is the median. We dug a four inch ditch between the two rows of pavers, filled that with loam, and then covered that with sod. With any luck, in a few weeks, I'll need to mow the driveway. The driveway is nearly finished, just need to tie it in with the rest of the gardens. With mulch! Ooh, that looks nice. Here's the wet look of the driveway. And here's a trick for everybody. I rented a small dump truck to get rid of all the old asphalt. Nothing is as fun as shoveling asphalt. <laughs> 